Besides all the efforts of Elon Musk, the world's richest man, that enabled him to supersede all other people in business across the globe, Elon Musk did one great thing, and that was to take action against corruption, and that too, by exposing the biggest personalities of the world. In this scenario, Elon Musk has eventually managed to expose the American president, Joe Biden, who seems to have a personal dispute with Elon Musk. Today, we will explore the secrets of how Elon Musk finally exposed Joe Biden's corruption. Recently, Joe was asked about the innovations being adopted regarding electric vehicles, EVs, when he appreciated the efforts being put into this project by GM and Ford, which are not considered that much in the list of the biggest electric vehicle manufacturing companies in the world, but excluding the name of Tesla. He stated, I meant it when I said the future is going to be made right here in America. He added, Companies like GM and Ford are manufacturing more electric vehicles than ever. I mean, speaking of EVs, but without the inclusion of Tesla. That shows the significance of how intense this rivalry has become. But if we focus on the stats, Tesla has surpassed both GM and Ford in quantity and quality. Even though both these companies became joint forces, they could not reach the level where Tesla has been for years. In response to his tweet, how could Elon Musk have held back? He directly replied, tagging the US president as, starts with a T, ends with a, ESL in the middle. Realizing Joe, how could he forget the name of Tesla when speaking about the EVs being built across the USA? It didn't end up right there. The president held a summit held at the White House and failed to invite the single most EV company, Tesla. Knowing the fact that having the presence of the representatives of Tesla could have made a major impact on some crucial aspects of that meeting. Soon after this incident, the thoughts of people dispersed into two categories. Some people reacted to the tweet of Elon Musk with positive intent, and some took Joe Biden apart criticizing him for not considering Tesla as it's the most deserving company to be involved in any tech-based invention related to cars, engines, etc. Continuing the discussion about stats, let's explore some figures for comparison. Ford outnumbered GM, producing 12,000. 284 EVs in the USA, while GM revealed only 26. As for Tesla, it is yet to be announced, but the expected numbers were approximately 308,600 EVs involved. Looking at these stats, not permitting Tesla to attend the conference was just unacceptable in any sense. Musk has taken umbrage with Biden's pro-union and infrastructure spending plans, as well as his apparent indifference to Musk his companies, and Tesla's leadership in electric vehicle manufacturing and charging infrastructure. They're ready to bet on America and American workers, workers who built the middle class earning good pay and benefits and the right to organize. Following the president's speech on Tuesday, Musk appeared peevish and unimpressed. He posted a link to a story on a Tesla fan site to the president's attention on the social media platform to emphasize that the company was the best-selling battery electric vehicle maker worldwide in 2021. Musk has been criticizing Biden's administration approach. He further added that Biden's administration wasn't the friendliest. Considering all these factors discussed above, do you agree with Musk's opinion about Biden? I mean the way he neglected Tesla in many aspects. And, in response, Musk not coming slow at him. All these things are debatable, but I hope they can all be sorted out in the near future. That's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.